I'm here in the jungles of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. I'm surrounded by thousands of hectares of forest, Mayan ruins, and a lot of birds. And we're here on a very special quest for a very special, very regal bird. Welcome to The Birder Show. So I'm here in the forests of Nuevo Beca, searching for one key species, the king vulture, known here as the Zopilote Rey. It's an incredibly important bird in the Mayan culture. In fact, I think it appears in the Mayan codexes more than any other species, and it's threatened here on the Yucatan Peninsula. So we're just walking down the path, looking for the king vultures, and we came across these uh, claw marks in the, in the leaf litter by the side of the path, and a very fresh scat made by a feline, a puma or a jaguar, and it's kind of exciting to know that right now, I mean, those things, they move like ghosts through the forest. They could be a puma or a jaguar looking at me right now, and I would never know. We just came across an ant swarm, which is kind of an amazing encounter. We've talked about it on the show before. It's one of the kind of holy grail experiences for birders in the neotropics. So basically, these giant uh, swarms of army ants rampage through the jungle, scaring up invertebrates, lizards, cockroaches, uh, crickets, and all these species of birds that are specially adapted to feed off them basically congregate around the ant swarm, and it's like a feeding bonanza. Uh, so here where we are in the Yucatan, there aren't a huge number of so-called ant birds like there are in maybe the Amazon or the Colombian Choco, but what there are are wood creepers. Wood creepers perched on the ground in positions that you never see them in normally. The community here in Nuevo Beco practice sustainable forestry to make sure that the forest remains profitable to them as a community, that they can live, that they can survive, but they practice it extremely responsible. As you can see, the forest here is managed really well for nature and wildlife, and there are huge sections, tens of thousands of hectares, that are not used for forestry at all. In this particular reserve, they have an incredibly high population of king vultures. They've counted up to 34. There's a tree next to a watering hole just behind me here. I'm not speaking too loudly because we just heard three or four king vultures fly over. They make a real whooshing sound with their wings when they fly past to perch in that tree. And what they do is they perch in that tree and then if they're feeling confident, they make their way down to the watering hole to drink or to bathe. So there's four, maybe five king vultures currently perched pretty much directly overhead, four adults and, and a juvenile. They're really spectacular, I mean they're big, I've not been this close to one perched before. And you forget how, how huge they are, I mean apart from the, the condors, they're the largest new world vulture. Um, and you can really see where the name king comes from, they've got this really kind of regal, elegant plumage, this kind of black and white um, back and wings and the faces are covered in these kind of red orange wattles, this bare skin. They're kind of ugly but beautiful at the same time, they're like one of those ugly pretty birds. And it's a keystone species because it's the only vulture that's big enough here to break the hide of say like a dead cow with its bill. So it's the bird that has to feed first before the black vultures, the lesser yellow-headed vultures and the turkey vultures can do so. So it's a really important part of the food chain here in the Yucatan Peninsula. It's a really positive sign for the health of the ecosystem. So we're going to go take a better look. We're going to hide ourselves under some camouflage material near the pool and hope that they come down for a closer look. Actually seeing these juveniles, which are kind of amazing, they're all black, none of the colours come in yet. They kind of look like a black vulture on steroids, sort of. And seeing those is a really exciting thing because it basically means that, yeah, that these birds are comfortable, they're reproducing, the species is, is, is growing or at least maintaining, which for threatened species is so important. I, I lost count almost under the cover of the, the camouflage how many arrived, but it must have been 12 or 15, including juveniles, young adults, and the spectacular black and white adults with the colorful heads. An unbelievable encounter with the target bird of this trip, and what a fantastic way to finish our time here in Campeche in Mexico.